everybody. Waiting for the bus. So I decided to do a gaming story. Okay, back in the days of 2015, I was playing a game called Final Fantasy XIV. Now, this is how Nagi no Yoa became a, a cussing mess playing against Garuda. <laughs> yeah. For me, I call her an overblown, sex-crazed chicken that hurls feathers at you and then destroys an entire thing of, of uh, rocks just to kill you. So, anyway, um, I'm going to give you a, a cast of people that were on my Skype that day. There was my friend, Kobe, and a very unpleasant person by the name that we'll just call Anna. So, we're watching, we're, so they're asking me what I'm doing, and I'm like, oh, I'm doing this one thing. Well, the first level of playing against Garuda is very hard. And this has been my, like, fifth attempt. Alright? Either A, I wasn't good enough, or B, I ended up getting killed. Yeah, you get the picture. So, on this day, we actually won. <laughs> but... But, <laughs> it took us about three or four tries to get this damn chicken down. So, alright, I had a tank on my side, I had a, a healer, an archer, me, the black, ma the black mage of the group, and, oh boy, was it fun. And, uh, of course, we were all yelling... Um, I'm sitting there, and totally spaced my Skype was on, and I come up with a hailstorm of curses, hurling him at this damn game. And all the while, I hear Anna start clucking and laughing her ass off at me. And she's like, oh my god, we really should have recorded this. And I'm like, What? Like, right after the whole battle was over, she starts calling me, um, she starts telling Kobe, who was, had just gone on, what the hell happened, and he starts laughing, and I'm standing there going, I am so screwed. And the thing is, we had just left the Diablo server, which was the big popular server at the time, and honestly, I left that server because it was just so overcrowded and it was like impossible to get on so I left for one of the lower servers I can't remember what they were called because uh, it's been so long since playing and I've been wanting to get back into playing again but eh, I forget passwords and I am not the most uh, dexterous person out there I usually play black mages high, high DPS characters so yeah that was my uh, adventures in Final Fantasy Land. Although, the thing is with Anna, not to complain, she was a very good player, but god dang it, I had to keep rezzing her ass every single time during, when we were doing our uh, raids. I mean, she couldn't do a raid by herself um, because she was just a level 5, and I was like level 30-something. So... I had already gotten my crafts, I've already done things, and I was trying to help her out, and I mean, I built some stuff for her, which she actually appreciated, but the problem was, it, her attitude outside the game kinda sucked. <laughs> I mean, sucked royal balls. I mean, she expected you to change for her benefit, not for yours. So, yeah, she was not exactly the best person around. But um, when it came to gaming, she actually was pretty good, and she did pull her own her own weight for an archer and a uh, a spearman, a lancer. She was really good at that. Um, I enjoyed actually having her on my party sometimes, especially when we were playing raids. Uh, sometimes when I took her to her first dungeon, which was actually pretty fun, I had to play down one of my characters to her level. But it was well worth it just to get her levels up. And she was really actually quite a competent player. I was actually surprised with the way she acted outside the games. But inside the game, it was a professional matter. She was actually also playing on the Japanese server as well. 
not realizing she was actually playing with a couple friends of mine from Japan, I kind of asked to look after her for a while. Yeah, that lasted about six months, okay? And then she got bored with it and left. For me, I love Final Fantasy XIV because it was actually pretty fun. Yeah, you had to pay 15 a month for it, but let me put it this way. It was well worth paying for that, and you got a lot of really good DSL uh, content along the way. I played a lot of the games, and quite honestly, I actually enjoyed playing with my friends Kobe and his friends because they were actually fun to people to play with. The only thing is, I didn't like the Diablo server. It was so crowded, and honestly, um, some of the content and some of the games that we played were pretty much uh, already played through, but it was well worth it just to get the storyline. And that was my biggest thing about playing these games, it was actually the storyline. When I got into SAO, I was treating SAO a lot like Final Fantasy XIV, but a little less so, because... Um, you have to fill up your uh, game... Sh you, like I said when I was playing the games, um, I still have to get back on eventually. I probably will do that tomorrow and actually get some uh, game time in for you guys. Because I absolutely love playing SAO. Uh, Lost Song is not my favorite. I want to play Fatal Bullet. I want to actually play that and see how far I can get into it. Um, I'm not much of a gun fan, but... Uh, I actually liked Gun Gale Online uh, Alternative Story, and that was actually pretty fun to watch. It was a great um, filler to get ready for the new season, Alisation, which, yes, I got to see the first season, the first pilot, and, or for the pilot, and it was actually pretty good. Um, I can't wait to see the rest of it, and it's going to be awesome. So, yeah, as a gamer, it's really fun to actually get into stuff again. I really like getting back into games. I need to play ESO again. Elder Scrolls Online, um, from what I heard, was actually pretty good. But they did nerf a couple characters, or a couple character classes. I always play a Khajiit, so that's always been my um, go-to character in Elder Scrolls. Both my fiancé and I are both Khajiit fans, so yeah. You're going to see two Khajiits playing together. In eventually, if he actually will let me... Well, the thing is, the two of us haven't gotten online recently, so we're going to try it again. Um, mostly, we, we do our uh, thing together. Um, so, if we can get the uh, mics working properly, we'll probably end up playing together. So, yeah, I will be looking forward to actually doing this. Um, again, that was... Um, if you want to hear more gaming stories of the... Uh, crappy the variety of goofball goofballing around with my friends um i have a dozen stories i think my favorite one is this one kid that i used to play with and uh he's a story for another time but he's actually really um really funny because we actually had to yell at him several times because he would make anime references in the middle of a game and we kept telling him no no one watches that dude we don't watch dubbed anime. He got on me for not liking dubbed anime. And the thing is, a lot of the stuff I own isn't even in English. Because, well, um, the one time I actually watched, uh, what was it, uh, Detective Conan, a.k.a. Case Closed online, the dub was so bad to me, I was like, oh, oh, shoot, what the hell am I watching? Let me take my eyes, oh, God, I can't take my eyes away. No, his name's not Jimmy, it's, it's Shinichi. And a lot of people who are into the dub get really mad at me, who is like, no thank you. God, kill me. <laughs> so yeah, um, but yeah, I am a gamer. I love video games and uh, I mostly like RPGs or role playing games. Um, I also have tabletop gaming stories that are uh, funny as hell. Um, I have one about my ex-boyfriend who was a GM. I used to kind of GM that you don't really want as a GM, but you end up getting them anyway. So, yeah. I could tell you those stories another time. Because I'm only supposed to do this for 10 minutes anyway. So, I will talk later. 
Bye.